Hi, my name is Sean Sweet, Hickory Fire Department. I'm at Station 2, Ladder 2, and today we're going to talk about lawnmower safety. So when operating a mower or any lawn maintenance equipment, you want to have the proper PPE. So, of course, flip-flops are not acceptable, or any other open toe shoes. You want to have long pants, um, so you don't want to get debris on your legs or anything that fly up and hit you in the, in the legs. Uh, Closed-toed shoes. They don't have to be steel-toed shoes. They don't have to be boots. They can be tennis shoes or any other type of closed-toed shoes. Ear protection. You want to have ear protection. Some of this stuff is really loud, so of course you want to protect your hair. And then eye protection. Even though you're on a mower sitting, something could fly back and bounce off and still hit you in the eye. So before we get on the mower and start mowing the area that we're going to mow, you want to walk the property or the area that you're going to mow to look for obstructions or anything that may damage the mower or damage anything else that's in its way. So just kind of walk the property or the area and look for big objects such as this. Sticks. Sticks will damage a, a mower, um, also damage the property that you're around. You want to look for hidden objects that may be in tall grass, such as this right here. Also, you want to keep pets and children um, away from the mower at all times, preferably inside while you're mowing the area. When you're refilling the mower, you want to make sure that the, the mower is obviously off. Next, you want to make sure that it's cooled down. Um, when you're refilling the mower, especially if it's on a hot motor, heat from the exhaust plus the fumes from the gas tank can start a fire. So you always want to make sure that your mower is cool and of course off. So next we're going to go over the do's and don'ts of mowing on uneven terrain, wet grass, slopes and hills. comes to the push mower, it's going to be totally opposite. So now we'll show you the incorrect way and the correct way to mow with the push mower. So here we show Josh demonstrating the incorrect way to mow on a hill or a slope. He's pushing the mower up the hill, which limits your traction, whereas you may slip and fall. Going down the hill, the mower is pulling with you or away from you therefore giving you the chance to slip and fall as well. So as we see here, Josh demonstrating the right way to mow on a slope. You want to keep the mower above you and you down below. That way you have more control over the mower and the mower doesn't have control over you. You want to make sure that the mower cools down before you put it inside a building. Um, also, what you like to do is if you have a blower or some kind of compressed air, blow the grass out from underneath your deck and around your pulleys and your guards. That'll help save on your belts as far as, and also as, as your pulleys as well. Also, once you part the mower, you want to take the key out of the ignition. You want to do this for two reasons. Uh, number one, if your kid or wants to get on the mower, cranks the mower, that could be a dangerous as well. Number two, so your kid gets on the mower, turns the key, but does not crank it, and gets off, he can run your battery down. 